Hey everybody, this is John the Sea Monkey Dude, and today we are going to do an unboxing video. Haven't done one of those in a little while. I've been showing you guys uh, sea monkeys swimming around a lot recently, I think. So, uh, got something in the mail just today, and we're going to open it up. I already opened the external box, but we're going to open it up and uh, take a look and see what I got. And uh, look at this. See who that's from? Montgomery Ward. Anyone know that Montgomery Ward was still around? I mean, this was like a lame department store when I was a kid and young adult. And they, I thought they went out of business. But you know what? They've got a website still. I don't think they got retail stores. And it's probably like uh, someone probably bought the rights to the name and the logo. And it's probably not the same people that own the retail stores. I know that's happened with a lot of stores that are out there. Service merchandise. Uh, uh, Circuit City, CompUSA, those are all retail chains that went out of business that still have an online presence, but it's not the same owners anymore. It's just other people bought the rights to the name and logo. All right, let's see what we got in here. We got another box. Let's see what we've got here. Here we go. Item description. Can you guys read this? If not, I will read it to you. Description, blue, sea monkey bundle set multi, country of origin, Guangdong, China. That sounds like a state and country. Country would just be China, right? For ages six plus. Well, let's see what we got in here. Some of you guys may have seen a few people post about this uh, over the past week or so, including me. Ah. Oh. So this calls it a Sea Monkey bundle set. That's what the website said too when I ordered this. It said Sea Monkey bundle set. But then when you look at the pictures, it's this. This is the Sea Monkey's Ocean Adventure. Uh, this was initially sold um, in Asia. Uh, I've got one of these. Um, I got a blue one today. I got one about a year and a half ago from Singapore. And it was from uh, Toys R Us over there. Who knew, right? And they had them on clearance. And I had a buddy of mine that lives over there buy it for me and ship it to me here in the United States. And the shipping was uh, more than what it cost to buy the set. So this is an interesting set. So here it still says Ocean Adventure. Um, they're calling it the... What the heck did I just say they called it? Sea Monkey Bundle Set now. Okay. And it is a little bit different, uh, I believe. So when I saw this on the Montgomery Ward website, it basically looked like an ocean adventure, just like this, which is, I think, how the other one came. But they added extra packets. So this looks like there's uh, an extra packet, one, two, and three in here. Now, the thing that's uh, sort of, I don't know how to say it, crappy yeah. about the ocean adventure tank is that it's huge, which that part isn't crappy. That's cool. I like bigger sea monkey tanks, right? Ocean zoos and all the other standard tanks, they hold, you know, right around 12 ounces of water, give or take a little bit, right? The ocean volcano, I think, uh, holds a little bit more, maybe closer to 16 ounces. But there's no really big ones. This one, it's got a little water measuring line right there. See that? See the arrow, the little line there? That I measured with my other one, with the one that I got from, you know, Singapore. It's 28 ounces. That's more than double what a standard sea monkey tank holds, right? But it still came with one set of packets. You know, the water purifier, instant live eggs, and food. Doesn't work. You're not getting the right salinity. You know, so if you fill it with water to the line that it tells you to, and you use one of each of those packets, the water's not salty enough, your eggs will hatch, and then your pets will die. It sucks. I've done it, right? And it's not quite two, uh, two sets of packets worth, so I'm curious how this is gonna work, because look, they basically threw this on top of the box. That looks like one of each of the packets. Hey, let, let's open it up. Let's take a look and see exactly what we got in here. So it looks like they just took these extra ocean adventure tanks and then threw this in with it, hoping to fix that problem. And yeah, we do have packet number one, Packet number two, and 
That one doesn't feel great either. And packet number three, the food, with a little piece of cardboard in here in this plastic bag. It's like a cut off circle here. Everything you need to hatch sea monkeys. It's easy. Pouches made in the USA. Pouches. It's interesting. Seems like most of us in the hobby call them packets. I call them packets. But you know what? When I did my huge tank and I was uh, emailing Trans Science back and forth for my big, huge order, they call them pouches too. So I guess that's the official term, pouches. I still like packets better. Anyways, we got an extra set of pouches here. Let's see what comes with this set normally. So this is interesting. This has got like two lids. So this one, you can see you got all the ventilation in there. Got a cool original Sea Monkeys logo on the top. It looks nice. That comes off. Then you got this other lid. More ventilation. And this one, uh, that opens up and you've got uh, a light in there. there. Or you put batteries in there, there's a light in the bottom. Honestly, for as much as this tank sucked because the salinity was never right, uh, the lid is the coolest thing. At least this part. My other one, I don't even use this part of the lid. Because you have to unscrew it and then take it off whenever you want to feed them or aerate the tank. I just leave this thing on. I don't see a big reason not to. Um, I just tried turning it on. Looks like I need to put batteries in there. Batteries not included. And that's to be expected. It takes three AAAs. Uh, go look at some of my older videos and you can see one of these in action. So look for Ocean Adventure and it's got an orange lid. Same thing as this though. You can see that light working. Pretty cool. All right, so it lights up, it changes colors. This one's actually really bright. You know, we've talked about in some other videos how it's cool that they've got light up tanks, uh, but the light's not bright enough. It's really dim. Uh, particularly, I'm thinking of Ocean Treasure. It's got the little treasure tank. That one, the visibility in there is cool because it's a really narrow, like wide tank. So you can see them swimming, you know, really well. But the light uh, just sort of blows in there. Yeah, this light is awesome. So if you can get. The sea monkeys that live in here, we're good. All right, let's see what else we got in here. We have got some paperwork, a big info sheet. Nice graphics on here. Oh, it's talking about the light right there. Color changing search light, that's cool. You got some basic sea monkey instructions on here. Putting your packets in, feeding them, all that good stuff. Stuff that we all know. On the back, we've got an introduction, origin of sea monkeys. I'm not going to read all that for you guys. But uh, here, you want to read it? Pause the video. All right, now that you've unpaused and we're back, let's see what else we got in here. More paperwork. There's a lot of paper in here. This is an instruction sheet that looks like it's exclusive for this tank. It does say Ocean Adventure on there. Talking about putting the batteries in. That's all this is. Just the batteries. All right. Cool. Easy enough. You know what? Holy cow. I didn't know this thing came out of here. i just looking at the instructions. And I see that this lid is actually three pieces. One, two, three. I thought the light was part of this. I'm not going to look at my other one. Is that the same way? It probably is. I just had no idea. Here's the orange one. It's just the lid. Oh man, it's in there pretty good. Oh, look at that. Comes right out. I had no idea. I've had this for like a year and a half. Hey, I can show you the light though, because I got batteries in this one. Ooh. Watch, it'll change color here. Goes off. It's sort of hard to see in the brightness. That looks pink or fuchsia. It'll turn blue or green next time. There we go, like a greenish yellow. It's a bright light. It's cool. Go look at the other video. All right, we'll go through the rest of this pretty quick here. So we've got instructions about the battery. Apparently we've got a three-piece lid here, not a two-piece lid. That's cool. I still don't see a big purpose for this piece. Oh, well. Let's see what else we got in here. We've got an aqua leash or a bubbler tool, whatever they want to call it. Let's see what it says on here. Food station tank water pump hmm. they don't say anything about sucking up the sea monkeys with the transform 
to transport them. That's good, because look how tiny that hole is. Infant sea monkeys would fit through there. Adults, you try to suck them up in there, they'd probably die. Probably, like, their bodies would break. Yeah. So if you want to actually transport sea monkeys with this, well, either use another aqua leash or snip the tip off of this thing, circumcise this thing, right? And it'll probably work just fine. All right. Let's see what else we got. We got another instruction sheet. This looks like the more generic one that you've probably seen in other tanks as well. But the pictures show an ocean zoo, not this one. You got the temperature guide up there. I like that. For best hatching, 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's warm. Mine are usually around 75 or so. All right. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Uh, to you guys, but basic instructions. you got a parts order form down here, too. That's sort of cool. So if you want to order by snail mail instead of going to the website, you can do that. On the back, we got more information about sea monkeys. Let's see what else we got in this thing. Yellow feeding spoon, current style, which you guys are probably familiar with. And then the packets. Packet number one, water purifier. Packet number two, instant live eggs. Packet number three, sea monkey growth food. And we got this big ass aquarium itself, which is cool. Just got to make sure the salinity is right. So I will try this again. Um, I haven't had great success with this thing in the past, but hey, they are selling it with two pack, two sets of packets now. Let's see if that works. I'll I'll set this up. I'll let you guys know how it's doing. Uh, we will fill the water to the line. Where's the line? There we go, right there. I've measured it before. That's 28 ounces. You know, double the packets, you would think it's 24 ounces. Um, but sea monkeys are tolerant to a lot of different salt levels, I guess. So maybe if it's not quite as salty as normal, they'll do all right. We're going to try it. We're going to try it using what they sent us and see how it goes. Hopefully they'll live and they'll do well and they'll thrive and we'll have this awesome, cool, blue ocean adventure tank or whatever the heck they're calling it now why can i never remember sea monkey bundle set yeah sea monkey bundle set which is an ocean adventure with extra packets right so we will try it uh, i'll let you guys know how it goes we'll probably start it uh maybe monday take a break from work and start this thing and i will post some pictures and videos again the tank itself really cool it's big it's easy to see in here. Oh, you know what? Check this out. The regular Ocean Adventure had a big graphic down here of like coral and stuff. And that was good and bad. I think the coral looked cool, but it made it hard to see the sea monkeys when they were at the bottom. If they were hanging out at the bottom, you couldn't see it because basically it's a big sticker. All right, now I gotta show you guys. Yuck. Okay. Here we go. This is the one that I got from Toys R Us in Singapore. I do have pets in here right now. All right, see that? That's a big sticker. It's on the outside of the tank. This one does not have that. Anyone else notice that yet? Or just me? All right, other than that, these things seem pretty identical aside from the color difference. This one originally came in, I think, three colors. This orange, blue, and I think purple, too? Maybe pink? No, three or four colors. But it seems like everyone that's ordered this through Montgomery Ward that I've seen has gotten blue, just like me. Which I'm glad I got blue. I already got an orange one. So, Anyways, that's it. Uh, this is a really cool big tank. Assuming you can get the salinity right and your pets are healthy. You got some big magnifiers. Four big ones right on the front there so you can see them. And yeah, that's about it. We'll start this soon. I'll keep you guys you know, informed of how everything's going. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share this video. Tell your friends about Sea Monkey Dude, all right? Now, I have fun doing this stuff, and maybe there's other people that would enjoy it too, even if they're not in the hobby yet. Let's get more people involved in this hobby so it continues, right? Tell your kids. Tell people younger than you, right? That's what I do with our Pez hobby too. I want to get young people involved in the hobby so that way it keeps growing and growing, keeps continuing, right? And doesn't stop at my generation, right? Imagine if Sea Monkey stopped 60 years ago when our parents were kids and had them. I'm glad they didn't, right? It's cool. All right, take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend or whatever day it is for you. Bye-bye.